Hello and welcome to another episode of Double Barrel Gaming. I'm your host, Mr. Boomstick XL, and on today's episode, we're going to keep it light and have a little fun. I have 12 predictions that I think have some serious credence to them. They may be a little off the wall, and while you're listening, you might even scratch your head a bit. But to be completely honest, if half of the games that I predict come true in 2018, it is going to be an incredible 2018 for Xbox gamers across the globe. To say that 2018 didn't start off with a bang for the Xbox and its fans would be a bit of an understatement. With the recently released rumors of the Fable reboot being made by Playground Games, a Perfect Dark reboot being made by The Coalition, Crackdown 3 having a four-player co-op campaign mode, and Forza Horizon 4 being set in Japan, there is a lot to get excited about. Sprinkle in the fact that Microsoft is set to release Sea of Thieves, State of Decay 2, and Cracktown 3 in the first six months of 2018, and you have a dynamite year for Xbox. It's all but confirmed by Microsoft that we will unfortunately not get Halo 6 at the end of the year. Having any of my predictions come true will certainly ease the pain for fans. Before we go any further, for complete understanding, everything I'm going to say on this video is complete speculation from my point of view. Take everything I say with a grain of salt. I have no insider information. This is more of a wish list that I hope comes true. The 12 titles that I'm going to speak about are any gamer's dream list. If only half of this happen, it will be considered the greatest gaming lineup of all time. Now, if you listen to me on the Crossfire podcast or Coffee Casuals and Consoles, you'll know I've been very vocal about Xbox needing high caliber exclusives to keep up with the fantastic titles that are being released on the PlayStation 4. Regardless of what the MPD numbers tell you, exclusives sell consoles. It's been a factor in every gaming generation since the beginning. One of the reasons why I respect Sony is because they are still pumping out single-player experiences. 2018 is going to be no different, with the likes of God of War, Spider-Man, Days Gone, and Detroit Become Human. It's a great time to be a PlayStation 4 owner. So here goes the list that I believe will be announced by Microsoft in 2018. Please enjoy. I'm predicting that this summer will be the return of Xbox's Summer of Arcade. And they're going to kick it off with a big one. And at number 12, that's going to be the Crimson Skies remake. It will be announced for Xbox Live as a digital-only title. Remember in early 2017 when the rumor was flying around that Microsoft made a deal with Studio Gobo? Well, at number 11, this is the title I believe they're currently working on, and that is Viva Pinata 3. Recently, Crytek, the makers of Rise Son of Rome, was doing an interview and they commented on the power of the Xbox One X saying how special the system was. If they weren't working on the next game on my list, then why would they comment on the system's power? That's why I believe at number 10, we're going to see, announced at E3 2018, Rise Son of Rome 2. Coming in at number 9 is a fan favorite. One that has erupted on Twitter as being the most requested sequel for the Xbox platform. And I believe that at E3 2018... Sunset Overdrive 2 is going to be announced when Phil Spencer walks out on stage with Ted Price and they officially make the game known to the world. Coming in at number 8 is a game that has traveled numerous generations. It first started out as a 2D sprite, eventually making its way to be a launch title for the OG Xbox. I believe at E3 2018, Microsoft is going to announce an exclusive partnership with Team Ninja and do a reboot of the Ninja Gaiden franchise that will be published by Microsoft and be an Xbox One console exclusive. 
Coming in at number 7, and actually is one of my most anticipated titles for 2018 because I absolutely love this series, is I believe that Shadow of the Tomb Raider will be published by Microsoft once again and have a one-year console-exclusive deal for the Xbox. Coming in at number 6 is a platformer. One I think that we all know and love dearly. Now everyone knows Rare is currently hard at work finishing Sea of Thieves and that they're going to continue to support that game years from now. But I believe that right now Rare is putting together a secondary team to work on the next installment of Banjo-Kazooie that will release in 2019. Coming in at number 5 is another OG Xbox classic. One that was a launch title, in fact. And because of recently released information about Microsoft making a deal with Sega, I believe that we're going to get an announcement that Jet Grind Radio 3 will, in fact, release in 2019 as a console exclusive for the Xbox. Coming in at number four is another OG Xbox classic, one of which that was an exclusive as well. I believe that in 2018, we're going to get the next installment of Splinter Cell and see the return of Sam Fisher to the Xbox platform as a console exclusive. The next Splinter Cell will in fact be published by Microsoft and developed by Ubisoft Montreal. Coming in at number 3 is another E3 2018 prediction. Randy Pitchford of Gearbox Software will walk out on the Microsoft stage and announce that Borderlands 3 will have a one-year exclusive deal on the Xbox platform. Coming in at number two, and it is one of my favorite gaming franchises of all time. I believe that at this E3, Capcom is going to walk out on the Microsoft stage and debut the Resident Evil to remake and announce to the world that it is going to be an Xbox One console exclusive. Coming in at the number one spot, and I believe that Microsoft will close the show with this announcement. Phil Spencer is going to walk out on that stage at E3 with that smirk that we all know and love and say he has one more announcement. The game that's going to have the entire world talking and potentially break the internet is going to be the announcement that BioWare has made an exclusive deal with Microsoft to bring Knights of the Old Republic 3 as a console exclusive. I know some of you are shaking your head in disbelief. This list is pretty outrageous, and I know that. But could you imagine if only half of those came true? What a time to be an Xbox gamer. 2018 is already shaping up to be one of the best years in gaming from what we already know. It's the unannounced titles that have me even more excited to be an Xbox fan. Now for today's Community Spotlight, and I'm going to be talking about Verdict of Odin. I've seen Verdict in many of the podcast chats that I frequent, and I've had several conversations with him on Twitter. He seems very knowledgeable and appears to love gaming as much as I do. Like many old school gamers, VOD started playing games in 1983 with the Atari and the Commodore 64, though he spent a lot of time and especially a lot of money in the arcades back then. Man, that's something. Arcades. Wow. What a flashback. When I asked Verdict of Odin what his favorite gaming system of all time was, it didn't take him more than a second to yell out the Super Nintendo. And according to VOD, it was revolutionary at the time and was awe-inspiring to see what the developers were able to do with that system. I'm right there with you. I'll never forget the first time I saw Mode 7 in action in Star Fox. It blew my mind. One of his most memorable and favorite gaming moments came when he was playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and he completed his first nuclear strike. Truly a powerful gaming moment that he will never forget. 
Like many of us, he's excited for the future of gaming. And here's a direct quote from VOD. He hopes Bungie gets their shit together and makes Destiny 2 a worthwhile experience for everyone who bought the game based on their promises. Verdict of Odin is super excited for Far Cry 5 and will buy pretty much anything that Bethesda Softworks releases in 2018. And who can argue with that? VOD's favorite gaming franchise of all time is The Elder Scrolls and is expecting big news to drop this year regarding the next installment in the series, and he's certainly not alone. Every fan of The Elder Scrolls series is starving for any new information. Fingers crossed that we get that in 2018. One of VOD's favorite podcasters is Angry Joe. He likes watching his videos and appreciates the passion he brings to each video he does. Please consider following him on Twitter and checking out his YouTube channel. He supports many people in the community, so it would be awesome if we could do the same for him. Thanks again for checking out today's extremely fun video with my 2018 Microsoft predictions. I hope you had as much fun listening to it as I did making it. And if you did, please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that like button. Thanks again. Have an awesome day.